Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, finally doing another unboxing. You can see I have two boxes here. Kind of irritated the FedEx guy didn't even um, like ring the doorbell or knock or anything. So I was wait upstairs waiting for him, but I guess he dropped the dropped them off before I went upstairs. So yeah, I mean he didn't even have me sign for them or anything. Freaking retarded. Retarded, but. Oh, well, good thing I went out there. It's only like 11, so I have no idea when he dropped them off. Couldn't have, they couldn't have been out there that long, but it's just a good thing that I went out there. But, yes. One of them is from, this one is from, I think this one is from Illinois. I'm trying to, no, this one is from Texas. This one is from Illinois. So we will check it out and um yeah let me get the razor real fast or the blade not razor that's not what i meant um from what i ordered this the one from texas it should technically be the bigger box but oh well we'll see what happens let me open this one first i'm just all gonna put them in this tub for now they will go in their own tubs but yeah let me open it real fast and i'll hurry up and open this one too at the same time Okay, so here's the one from Texas. It has an ice pack, as you can see. It's all, it's all. I don't know what you would say. It's soft, not hard. Um. Oh yeah, these two will definitely be fitting in this tub for now. Um, and that's pretty much it for that one. So there's. Two snakes, you can see. Oh, well, yeah, they are snakes, so I don't know if I said that or not. And here, hatch date and all that stuff for this one. Let me have to take it out. Oh, they're all in bags, so. This one's a little bit bigger. Okay clean up that mess later let me um i don't have any let me hyphen these ones are just oh they're all i think i'll have those uh ties on there I forgot what they're, what they're called so let me hyphen cut them all off Well, this is the one from Illinois, the one that was in the bigger box. He, it is a male, and it's a 2014, and it is a recessive morph. And this was like a quick purchase. I just seen him and one. I haven't. I've never really been into this gene, but for some reason he, this particular snake got me into it. And it is a 2014 male hypo. He's got some pretty good size to him too. So let me take him out. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but he was just hissing. But this is a 2014 male hypo. He is awesome. I've never really been into a hypo gene. And this is just like a normal hypo, no Mojave or anything. But this is just awesome. He actually, just this snake alone got me into it. So yeah, that's a pretty good size thing. Like I said, he is a late 2014, so yeah. 
I'll probably actually just put them in one of these tubs by myself. I actually have another one on the side. I could put these two smaller ones in. They are both females, so yeah. It looks like, looks like he's going to pretty much take up the whole tub. I will put him in a bigger tub, but like I said, this is just for the video. And I can keep the smaller ones actually in these tubs for now, so yeah. But that's him, 2014 male hypo. Really awesome snake. Just looks like gray and purple. If you guys don't know what the hypo gene is, I'm pretty sure you guys all do, but it's just really, really cool. So yeah, I don't have a female for him yet, but I am looking for one. I really want to get like a morph head hypo. Yeah, see, he's pretty much too big for that. But he'll be good just until I'm done with the video. So yeah, I am going to be looking for a uh, like morph head hypo for him, like a Mojave head hypo female. But that's really what I'm shooting for, but we'll see what happens. Let me get one, another one of those tubs for the smaller one. And let me open these real fast. Awesome. Sorry, it's taking a while. These ties are pretty good. Right, and as you can tell with the male hypo, I'm trying to get into the recessive stuff, you know, make some head stuff. That's basically what that means for those of you who don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys do know, but so, yeah, so he's a hypo, so, you know, anything I breed to him will be head hypo, his babies anyways, and if they don't carry the hypo gene with what I breed them to. But same with these two females. You see one of them, well actually they're both albinos. But you can see this one's coming out. These are 2015 albinos. I just finally decided to get into the albino gene. Um, and yeah. Let me, I also have another pair of some recessive snakes. Male and female that are coming. But they're a little bit pricier than these ones. So it's gonna, they're not gonna be here anytime soon. Because just because of the sheer price of them so yeah but um these two are females that's a male i do have breeding plans for these ones to breed to, breed to one of my males that i'm going to be getting and um yeah let me take this one out since she's coming out see how small they are These are both female albinos. And I've never had an albino anything. So I'm really excited to have an albino in my collection finally. And the fact that I have two is awesome. And I paid two fifty shipped for these two females and one fifty shipped for that male hypo, so it's not bad. But for some stuff that I think people need in their collection, I'm happy I got. So there's that one. These are actually, pretty, I think they're clutch mates. So, oops, she actually hit her head. Go get her. Let me get the other one out. Here's the other one. Really cool. I've never had an albino, like I said, so I'm really excited. These are just eye catchers to me. I've always wanted them, I just don't know why I never got one. But same with the hypo stuff, I mean, I've never really been into it, but as soon as i seen a picture of him, I just had to have him. He's really cool. But yeah, most of the snakes I'm going to be getting are all recessive stuff, you know. If I breed this to a male or normal, they'll be hat albino, that's it. They'll be normal as hell, but I know, so yeah. But I just decided to get into the recessive stuff, like the actual 
like visual recessive stuff. I don't want to get any like het albinos or het clowns, het pides, het hypos, and all the other heads that there is. And these two females actually 100% het for uh, VPI exantic. So if I ever wanted to go down that road with these females, I could. But for now, I don't think I'm going to. So yeah, let me pick this female back up because she seems to be more active. So yeah, be looking out for more unboxing videos, like I said. Um, I actually have some other snakes, like not besides those two recessives that I just probably told you about that I'm going to be getting that were kind of pricey. I have, let me think, a bunch of, not a bunch, I have dominant stuff and co-dominant stuff coming. I'm really um, trying to get into the, like, just this kind of, see, she's really active. Just this kind of stuff, you know, like it's different from spiders, you know. I don't know how to explain it. Like I, I want to get into the blue eye leucistics too. And then also the, totally forgot the name of them. Um, they're Mojave cross with uh, uh, mystic, mystic potions. There you go. Kind of think of the word, sorry. So I'm getting some of those genes and everything. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. I mean, these are young still, but you know, you can never go wrong with albino stuff. It's just cool. So yeah, that's it. Be making more videos. Looks like that one's starting to unball. And I'll get them into their actual tubs. I'll actually just probably put these on the rack with these tubs by themselves. And then I'll definitely have to put that male hypo into a bigger tub, which is okay because I have bigger stuff. But yeah, that's it. I'll um, be looking out for more videos, and I'll do better videos of these snakes, and especially of her. And I'll show off the male hypo some more. And yeah, that's it. See ya.